Today's topic is Awake Brain Surgery, Everything You Need to Know. Awake brain surgery, also known as awake craniotomy, is a surgical procedure performed on the brain while the patient is awake and alert. The procedure is performed to correct neurological issues such as dealing with epileptic seizures and brain tumors. This procedure is especially required if a tumor or epileptic focus, a place where the seizure occurs, is situated close to the parts of the brain that control movement, vision, or speech. A surgeon is likely to ask you questions and monitor your brain activity during the procedure. This helps the surgeon determine whether the surgery is helping you while minimizing the risk of damage to functional areas of the brain. Let's look at awake craniotomy in detail. Why it is needed. Brain surgery is a delicate medical procedure that can affect a patient negatively for life in case something goes wrong. If a tumor or epileptic focus is located in an area that can affect a person's movement, vision, language, and speech, awake brain surgery becomes necessary. The surgeons do not want to risk causing any damage to the brain, especially since it's quite difficult to pinpoint the regions of the brain that could cause complications. Risks Awake brain surgery is still a fairly risky procedure, even as it aims to minimize possible damage to the brain. Risks associated with it include 1. Loss of memory 2. Seizures 3. Changes in vision 4. Difficulty in learning and speech 5. Weak muscles 6. Meningitis 7. Loss of spinal fluid 8. Stroke 9. Impaired balance 10. Loss of coordination 11. Swelling of the brain caused by too much fluid Procedure A surgeon is likely to tell you all about the risks of the procedure if they feel you need awake brain surgery. After your confirmation, they are likely to perform some neurological and speech tests, asking you to identify pictures and words. The results of these tests will be compared to the ones obtained through repeated testing after surgery. The surgical procedure itself involves the administration of anesthesia to put you to sleep. The surgeon will numb the area to be operated on and remove part of your skull. The sedatives will be put on hold when the brain is visible. In case a tumor or epileptic focus is near to important control centers of the brain, the neurosurgeon will conduct a brain mapping. The map will help avoid the sensitive areas and guide the procedure. Throughout the surgical procedure, a speech-language pathologist or neurosurgeon will ask you to identify words and pictures as before to make sure your brain activity is not impaired. The procedure is followed by an MRI to check if the removal of tumors or an epileptic focus is complete. A patient is monitored for a while to ensure their condition does not reoccur. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.